All right, today we're gonna make a homemade oxalic acid vaporizer to uh, treat my bees for varroa mites. So I wanna show how I do it. So I just went and bought all my pieces. I got a five inch long, eighth inch tube. I got a, a half inch by two inch long tube. Two caps. Short eighth inch threaded piece and an eighth inch elbow. So the goal, so the plan here is to put these caps on there. I'll drill a hole and install this right in the center there. And then once that's on there like that, I'll screw the five inch long piece in like that. So this is what it's gonna look like when I'm done. And to uh, use it, all I'd have to do is put oxalic acid in there, put this back on with this all rigging, and heat this up with a torch, and it'll vaporize right into the hive. There'll be a hole drill in the hive for that to go into. So. Here we go, we'll show you how we make it. I'm gonna put a, I got a starter punch here. Punch a hole right in the middle of it for my drill bit to stay centered. It doesn't have to be perfect. We'll give it another whack. That should be good. of that of this piece right here. this right into there. this we just put a, some oxalic acid down inside the chamber there and screw it back on I got a hole in the bottom of the back side of the hive I'd stick that in and we use a torch and heat this up and the oxalic acid will vaporize and go into the hive only cost me $35 compared to some of the oxalic acid things out there that you need power and everything else this here is portable don't need no power, only need a blowtorch to heat that up. So let's uh let's go treat my hives. I'll show you show you how I right use it. Can't get it ready here. We got a big thing of oxalic acid. This thing will probably last me the rest of my life, but we only need a quarter table teaspoon per deep. So I'm gonna put two quarter teaspoons in here. I can put it right in there, dump it upside down. Right in there, upside down. Throw this back on the top. And we'll go treat my hive. Alright, this is the hive we're going to treat. It's right in the corner of my garden. So, first thing I'm going to do is get the old bolt out here. I got a bolt right in the back here. Plugging up the hole.
There, just like that. So now I can hold the torch right here. All the smoke's gonna go, it's gonna vaporize and go right out into the hive. So now we're gonna plug off some holes here. Oh, and I'm gonna take, I cracked the lid in hot weather. It's been hot, it ain't hot today, but it's been hot out, so. I'm gonna put that back down. Just a piece of wood here in the back. All right, so for the bottom of the hive, I'm just gonna I'll let that bee go in. And I can, uh, oh. All right, here a couple of corks here. I'm gonna cork off the hole. Both of them. here for five minutes or so and we'll unplug it and they'll be treated we do that three times every six days apart so throughout the all of it will be up to 18 days 18 19 days you can change that variety a little bit like today's day number seven on this hive i was supposed to do it yesterday but for day number six but i couldn't find my old vaporizer so i went and bought the pieces to make a new one and showed you guys how to make it all right we're gonna uncap it oh. let them find their way in bunch of bees up on this one we're gonna oh, yeah i'm gonna take out my bottom my bottom board there Yeah, that hive's done. Put this up. Put it underneath here. So, yeah. So that's how I treat for varroa mites with my homemade vaporizer. <laughs>